because of this father and son duo that we might be getting for the part two of the festival dragon ball legends might literally be entering a new era through their social medias and the second one that we've got through their facebook we got the goku spirit bomb reveal trailer that was promoting the part two of the festival and now today they just posted whether it was an accident or not a bardock teaser trailer for the part two of the festival as well so naturally this has got people thinking are they really going to do what we think they're going to do and drop a what if unit a lot of people have been speculating that idea of a what if but it seems like it's really coming to light right now they've dropped these two and with all of the hints that they've been putting out in the game saiyan saga namek it's kind of all confusing right now and i'm sure a lot of people's heads are just all over the place but with these two characters it just doesn't seem logical for it to be a set theme so this pretty much reinforces that idea of a what if unit before i go further into this video i want to let you guys know the reveals and stuff is on tuesday it's the 12th at the regular time 2 p.m i will be live streaming it so come through on that day so we can see what they dropped because this reveals and stuff might be a very very big one they're doing a reveals and stuff for part two last year they did not do that so this is quite a big deal be there i will be streaming it at least one hour before we're gonna get lit i'm sure you guys are familiar when you guys summon there's already the goku and bardock summon animation You guys know Goku's always on the summon screen. He's the one that's always starting off every single summon animation. But when Goku's about to clash with Frieza, if you're extremely lucky and you get a Bardock animation that guarantees you a featured unit, right? Or a new unit, more specifically, a featured new unit. <laughs> Anyways, the animation they use in the summon animation is pretty cool. It's super cool, actually. When Bardock appears, it really catches you off guard. And then Goku and Bardock are just working together, beating the hell out of Frieza. They finish by doing an attack together that looks super cool. Even if they gave us that as the legendary finish, it would just be a wild start, in my opinion. And that attack animation, that sequence that Bardock and Goku do together, is still pretty phenomenal, in my opinion. Just because it's been in the game for a long while, people will find a way to complain. But if you're asking me, I would still be satisfied with getting that as an animation for the two units. But of course, i'm just speculating here and there's no guarantee that they'd actually drop a what if unit with goku and bardock as a tag unit together they could very much just be two lf units but if we're looking at the art through the silhouette they very much do look like ultras especially because they separated them it seems very likely that it's going to be an ultra now at first people were looking at the goku and thinking oh he's not moving that much he looks very idle it's very likely that he's free to play but what about this bardock now is it a separate thing is it together bardock on his own also looks free to play they both could be together Together and be a free to play ultra it could be the first ultra tag unit it could be the first free to play ultra tag unit you can add all these labels to it and we're all just speculating and i think that's what really makes part two of the festival super hype or the festival in general when legends are releasing units and nobody knows where it actually is i think that's what raises everybody's hype for it because we're all pulling for straws not knowing what the end result will be there's so many questions if they are a tag unit what tags would they have they'd probably have a bunch of tags because it's two characters mixed into one similar to gold freezer Gold Freezer has a bunch of tags just because of Goku and Freezer. Now, if we look at the Goku and Vegeta units, they also have a bunch of tags as well. So it could just get wild. But I think what makes this so interesting overall is the fact that this is only the first step in the door, right? They're going to start with this. Let's look back in 2021 when Legends dropped their first ever tag unit. We got Blue Bros, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from the Broly movie. They were doing some crazy moves on Broly, I'm not going to lie. And they gave us an exact one-to-one -one copy of those animations from the movie, making that unit have one of the best legendary finish that we have in dragon ball legends but of course that's kind of wild that that was only the starting point if that's the starting point you gotta really think of how they could level up their game going forward they could release so much more let's look at some examples we have gamma one and two i think are a very good example of a legendary finished unit that's a tag unit that's super super good gold freezer can also fit in that same conversation gold freezer when they were going up against jiren the animation was so phenomenal you can't say the devs did not put their heart into these animations because they really 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 sold it to us but now that we're getting a goku and bardock tag unit i'm assuming there's so many things we could possibly get even if we don't get a goku and bardock tag unit it's still hype for the conversation purposes i think the second biggest thing that a lot of people have on their mind it's not the only thing but i'm putting it out there as a big thing would be a freezer and a cooler tag unit those guys are literally brothers that would be wow the biggest loe menace force ever in the game them two guys working together on one team would be nuts a lot of fans would summon for that 
undeniably. They might have me and I don't even summon for freezer units ever. That's not part of my system, but they might have me with that one. With these what ifs, there's so much creativity that can be put into it. So much customization, the animations, they can go all out. They can really just make something that's super creative. And I think that's what's going to bring a lot more hype to Dragon Ball Legends. People often have the notion, oh, Legends is not going to last for a long time, but there's just so much they can do with this game. It's not a stick main game. It has so much fluidity to it. It has so much creativity to it that could just be applied so easily and i'm sure they have so much held in the bag that they're just holding back this is only like a scratch of the surface this is not even touching on any mechanics that the unit might get this is simply just the idea of it just the idea and we can already talk about it in so many different ways just some other speculation around the part two of the festival we have passed the 2000 day celebration mark so it's got me thinking are they going to do anything in the festival for 2000 days as well maybe a chalet maybe this could be a free to play ultra for the 2000 days which is why they're going overboard for it let's also not disregard that they're dropping a legends original story there's a lot of characters that are going into that as well so we've got to think about if this could tie into that as well we haven't got a free to play ultra in a while so that could be a possibility i don't even think we've actually got a free to play legends limited in the game if i'm really thinking about it they maybe have given out z power but a whole free to play legends limited haven't really seen it i don't believe outside of that it's just the festival in itself so obviously they're going the extra mile to make sure that we are satisfied we are getting a big celebration it's the biggest celebration in the year from my point of view anyways and i'm sure a lot of you guys that play dragon ball legends would also easily agree with that they put so much more effort into the festival than they do their anniversary for some reason even though the anniversary pretty much is their birthday but regardless it doesn't really matter the end of the year is meant to be a big celebration anyways i think the last thing i'm going to talk about in this video is the simple fact that if this is part two and they're raising the bar this much the ultra that's going to come assuming this isn't one as well and even if this is they'll probably still drop an ultra for the end of the festival whatever is going to come at the end of the festival is going to be insane obviously i'm promoting or pushing the idea of the ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta and if it's an ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta what kind of mechanics would he have let's just put out some other suggestions just for the sake of the video let's say if they don't just drop one ultra for the finale they might drop two we might get super saiyan god goku and a beerus so they will come together and i think that would be super hype as well what mechanics would they have an ultra mui goku what mechanic would he have of course the dodge and whatnot but they would go the extra mile to make him super unique he has to be a lot different and it's an ultra rarity i'm sure they'll bring something insane and in the festival they've always brought some new mechanic into the game or something that really just catches everybody off guard but yeah i think i'm gonna end the video with you guys leave a comment put in some what ifs that you think could come to Dragon Ball Legends. There's a lot of what ifs that you could really just think about. But of course, I'm going to leave the creativity in your hand. And I've already mentioned the Freeza and the Cooler Duo. That would be nuts. But this Bardock and Goku unit, what do you think, man? Is it an LF? Is it an Ultra? Ultra tag unit? Two different LFs? Two different Ultras? Free to play? Pay to win? Summonable? What are you thinking, man? Everybody's thoughts matters. At this point, there's no right answers. We just have to wait and see. Got the reveal and stuff on Tuesday. So tap into that i will be streaming it be there or be square it's going to be a lit time we need to see what legends is bringing out the bag i appreciate you guys for watching the video man press the subscribe button we're on this grant to 100 000 subscribers my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man